Media Taming Technology. Hey, this is Fred from Obedia, and today we're going to take a look at using multi channel outputs from Superior Drummer 2 uh, in Sonar. It's pretty straightforward. Um, first thing we're going to do is insert an instance of Superior Drummer from our soft synths, VST plugins. Superior Drummer. Here's the key right here. Insert soft synth options. Um, if you have first synth audio output selected when you do this, you're only going to get a stereo output. Uh, so what we want to do is enable all synth outputs stereo. And then we're going to click OK. And we can see that all the out the possible outputs of uh, Superior are created here, and you can also see them in the console view uh, here. I'll just close Superior for a moment, uh, so we see all these Superior outputs in the in the console view. I'll close the console view now, and go back to Superior, which I think we can do by just clicking on one of these little key icons here. Yeah. Okay, so let's just make sure we get our kit loaded up. We do. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to the Groove page. Uh, and if you're saying Groove page, Superior Drummer, uh, you need to update. Anyway, so I'll just pick this uh, Groove right here and just hit play. And the eighths. There we go. Now at the moment, you'll see right here that we're just getting stereo out of this first uh, channel here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Superior Drummer. Let me just pause that for a moment. We're going to go into the Mixer section. And in the Mixer section, you can choose right here from many outputs, uh, 16 possible stereo outputs. Um, so we see everything at the moment is set to, although there's many things flashing here in different channels, uh, we can see that there are many possible outputs. Now you can set these manually however you like, but I'm going to choose this multi-channel preset here, and it sort of smartly uh, routes things. Uh, we got three different kick uh, channels here. We got the mic in, the kick drum, the mic out. Uh, a sub, and then we got snare. They're all coming out of one and two, you'll notice, with that, that uh, multi-channel preset. Then we got snare, and snare again, this time affected through a, an 1176. Uh, and that's set to three and four, hats five and six, uh, rack time one, rack time two, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And we see all that fun stuff to all these different outputs. So I'm going to hit play again, and this time, when we take a look, we're going to see that we have all these different elements coming out on different channels in Sonar. So, kick, snare, hat. There, there's nothing here because there are no toms playing, but if there were, there would be. And uh, that's pretty much it to stop this right now. So remember, what you want to do after you have your kit loaded is go to the mixer, choose multi-channel uh, multi out, at least to get started, that preset. Um, and the other important thing is, again, this area here. When we go to instance a plugin, I'll just do Easy Drummer this time for fun. You want to check all synth audio outputs. And that'll enable all these channels in Sonar. Thanks for watching.